Hello and welcome to the workout of the week with Escape Fitness. We've got Andy here, our trainer. And what we're going to do today is use two of our brand new products, the good old traditional sandbag and the gripper. The sandbag comes with multiple different handles for a variety of different grips for different exercises. It also has a movable sand-based weight inside, so it's always challenging us in different planes of motion and in different movement patterns. Great thing about the sandbag is it, it, it always keeps us guessing. It's a bit like one of those classic unconventional strength tools. So we're going to demonstrate a couple of multi-planar movements with the sandbag, and then we're going to go into some gripper exercises as well. We're going to piece those together in a workout today which is 5 reps, 10 reps, 15 reps. So essentially it's a bit like a ladder. You're going to do 5 reps of each of the exercises, 10 reps of each of the exercises, and then 15 reps of each of the exercises. Slight differences between the products, but both kind of a similar sort of family. Uh, the gripper has the weight within the grip, within the, within the bag, and all it does is as you're gripping the bag, it starts to move through your hands, and that challenges our forearms, challenges our grip strength. So we've got two tools here which are constantly moving within our base of support, or constantly moving as we're lifting them. So Andy's going to demonstrate the exercises first. First one's working with the sandbag. This is called a shoulder clean. Okay, all we're going to do is swing the bag through the legs and flick it up and over onto the shoulder, catching it on our shoulder. We're going to alternate the movement so it goes from side to side. And you'll notice if you're looking at the body here how the bag is challenging the body, it's moving us and pulling us into different positions. We're really having to work hard to control the bag and to control the weight. That weight's always challenging us and moving us. The handle grip here is the end handle. Okay, so five reps of that would be five to each side, obviously. And once we're finished there, we're going to come onto the gripper. We're going to do a gripper slam. The gripper's designed to slam, it's completely sealed on all edges, so that you, you can't uh, lose anything that's inside it. You're going to throw it up above the head and extend your arms, punch up above the head, and then slam it down to the floor. As soon as you can, you're going to get your hands back on the gripper, okay? So you can really move quickly through those five reps. Once we're done there, we're going to go back to the sandbag. We're going to take that end handle grip, okay? And what we're going to do now is what we call a wood chop clean. This is a really challenging movement, but what's going to happen is the bag's going to come across to the side. We're going to flick it up. We've got to get that momentum going first. We're going to flick it up across the shoulder. So we're going to throw it down. And you notice that Andy's actually having to load. As it comes down, he's having to load to the side. So he's twisting and he's rotating through his ankle, through his hip, and through his thoracic. It's pulling him into that position. And he's having to work hard to drive through the hips to bring the bag back onto the shoulder, absorb the load, and then flick it off. Again, he would do five reps on one side, and then he would swap. You'll notice that um, the bag is always pulling him into those positions. That's it, good stuff. And as the, the movable sand in the bag is constantly moving, it's always keeping Andy guessing. You'll see how he's having to really work to keep a good grip to the floor, keep strong and stable. Okay, five reps of that, and then we move back to the gripper, and we're gonna do a gripper wood chop. Gripper wood chop, slightly different to the uh, sandbag wood chop. Similar sort of movement with the uh, body, but we're punching the gripper out to the side, okay? And this just really works and develops nice rotation through the trunk and torso. So lots of rotation through the thoracic, lots of good work for the core, core muscles. We do five reps on one side, and then five reps on the other side. Keeping a nice solid base of support, nice and strong. Okay, and resting there. So those are the exercises. Sandbag and gripper together, really good tools, great for grip development, great for multiplanar movement, great for developing strength um, throughout the whole body. Piecing them together like that in a ladder-based workout, so we're going to do five reps of each, ten reps of each, and fifteen reps of each. Works really, really nicely. It starts to get the heart rate into it, uh, the cardiovascular system as well as the strength and muscular endurance out of that workout. So have a go with those two products and enjoy that workout and let us know how you get on.